it is really weird when I go out walkies and there's light. If I just like look at the ground and just relax my my eyes and my thoughts just the slightest bit and suddenly everything is covered in just words and glyphs and symbols. Let us prepare to tangle in a raucous fashion. Well, happy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. Hokey smokes, it's a late day. It is 821. I've been trying to get started for quite some time, but kind of a good thing I didn't, because also, like five minutes ago, I was just starting to record again, and my housemate knocked on the door, and I had to deal with people on the phone, so... <sighs> things work out? Yay? Still, it's a brand new day, and it was cold and starry last night, and it is not a starry this morning. <laughs> But it's diffused light, it's semi-foggy, and it's still kind of cold, but it's also, as you can see, I'm not wearing my, my plaid jacket shirt, so it's not altogether freezing. I slept moderately well last night, and that is a very good thing. So it wasn't a terrible day yesterday, except, of course, I did have sleeping issues. I'm going to talk about that in a moment, because, of course, first, to appease the YouTube algorithms. Hey, if you could toss me a like, that would be very cool. If you could... Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you can leave me a comment that'd be very cool I read them all I thumbs up each one I do I answer as many as my executive for dysfunction will allow and of course I would like to thank each and every one of my patreon patrons these literally beautiful and literally awesome people where hopefully I've got the list updated today but I'm so late right now that uh, I'm hoping but we shall see but these beautiful and awesome people literally help to keep me alive and that is appreciated to no end it is a definite thumbs up. Thank you so very, very much. I enjoy metabolizing, and that is a very good thing. If you'd like to help me metabolize, there are links in the show more, wherever that happens to be, for the device you're watching this on. Yay! <coughs> Front loading a video over. So, I can't remember what I was going to talk about, but I do want to mention this. I went to the post office yesterday. Of course, I do that a lot because my post office box is, is there. And I would like to thank whomever sent this to me. Uh, the name just was Jane, and I accidentally covered it up while doing the address. But when I got this, I opened it up. It's soft and fluffy. And took a look. I haven't opened up the plastic, but it's a little stuffed animal thing like a little penguin in a bear suit so let's open this up and take a look this is really cool thank you so much i have the address to my post office box in the video description hopefully up on my screen again this is the sort of thing that i i think is really awesome i don't require much if people send me things though i you know i'll take anything i like stuffed animals i have a fair amount of them and i like to put them out as you can see that's not all of them by far, but thank you so very, very much. This is very cool. Thank you so much. I like stuffed animal things, and this is neat. Very awesome. Thank you so very, very much. It's going to go up on the bookcase back there. Yay. Not right now, of course, but still. Thumbs up, and thank you so very much. <clears throat> so, thumbs up. <laughs> Past that, my life has just been my life. Yesterday, I did my videos in the morning, and then I started having a, a little bit of falling asleep issues. And then, because I don't put my meds into a specific thing, so, you know, for date and time and all that, I couldn't remember if I had already taken my uh, Ritalin for noon time. And so, when I took it then, I might have double dipped and taken double the dosage. I don't know. Ritalin and other things like that, because of my severe ADHD, do not you or work as stimulants. And I had a lot of falling asleep problems yesterday. And when I take stimulants, I fall asleep. And I was having a lot of falling asleep issues yesterday. So I may have double dipped on that, but that's okay. I didn't like perish thumbs up on that though I just gotta try and be more careful oh boy still life is life it could be worse it could be better past that I've just been surviving like I said I did my videos I did editing I uploaded I went for walkies I did thinking I played some things I've been playing 
from going from the deep, semi deep stuff of like Dead Island to now I'm playing Vampire Survivor, which is a bullet hell type game where you don't even have control over how you fire your weapons. You just basically avoid stuff as your fi weapons randomly fire in random directions. It's a fun game though. I am enjoying it quite a bit. A bullet hell survival type thing. Thumbs up. But it is cool. Definitely a thumbs up on that. So I have been playing some of that. I just haven't been playing anything else. Ugh. I hate depression troughs. I hate getting stuck in things like that. But it happens. I'm on my way out though. And that is a very good thing. Past that, as stated, just been out walking. One of the things I've mentioned before, and I do want to talk about it again. <clears throat> It is really weird when I go out walkies and there's light. If I just like look at the ground and just relax my my eyes and my thoughts just the slightest bit and suddenly everything is covered in just words and glyphs and symbols. Everything. The roads, sidewalks, parts of buildings. There are words that I can almost see. There are glyphs that I can almost understand. There are all these words and such written everywhere on everything. Just out of focus that I can't focus quite and see what they say. It is the weirdest thing. But then my vision and the stuff going on in my head because of my vision. Ah. Uh, I think it's, the people have mentioned stuff like uh, visual migraines, and I get a lot of weird stuff like the, the video artifacting from my vision. I'll see like motion lines and parts will break off as they go out this direction and drift off and it kind of hurts the vision, but I don't get an actual headache. It's just really weird. But that's all. One of the big things too, of course, is here's a spider report. Last night when I was getting ready to go to bed, lab just just like at 15, 20 minutes before I actually turned everything off and went to bed. I was down in the bathroom washing my hands and I was looking in the mirror and I noticed some movement down below, looked and there was a big old spider. When I say big, it was just her legs. And I say her when I talk about spiders because primarily the spiders that you see, the big aggressive ones are the female of the species and the male are smaller, much more scared and they don't stay out in the open. So generally that's why I refer to spiders as she because largely they are. <clears throat> But her leg span was like this, little tiny body, you know, like this. Like the front leg was that long. It was an amazing thing. And so I'm just watching this spider. She's dangling along at the bottom of the mirror. And I, there's a little soap container. And she dangles down and she gets onto the soap container. I'm just watching her because I have been horribly arachnophobic most of my life. And it's only the past couple of years that is faded. And I'm not arachnophobic. I have a, the primitive fear of creepy crawlies that every human being does. You know, your mileage may vary. But I don't have any specific fear of spiders right now. And I was just watching her. And for whatever reason, when she calmed down, I then carefully, because I didn't want to hurt her, reached out and went boop onto her long front leg. And she went, ooh, and sort of reacted a little bit. And then when she calmed back down, I just reached back out onto that two-inch long leg and went, tap. And of course, she reared back in fear, at which point it was like, I just went, I am so sorry, little one. I am going to stop terrorizing you. Because it was just fun to watch her. Fascinating creatures. And so I just turned off the light and let the spider stay in there and do what spiders do. I don't have many spiders in this room right now. In fact, right here from this angle, I can't see any of them like I used to. But I know back there, I have at least two spiders up in the corners. So, thumbs up for that. And even if you can't see spiders, they are there. So, thumbs up for that. You're always within reach of a spider. <laughs> uh. Now though, as for the creative inside, outside, razor's edge stuff, I have been thinking a lot about that. And last night when I went walkies, I was doing a lot of thinking. Not about any one thing in particular. Once again, just bouncing around and making things work as I revisit stuff in my head. One of the things that I revisited was the whole big, I keep saying big, Iron John situation and how their, their lives were ruined. 
and so more of that because of the stuff that I've been thinking of on the whole layer situation came into clarification because there were parts of it where I just said okay this happens I'm not sure exactly of the details this happens I'll let it go not let it go but they were abandoned they lost their ability to interact with the glamours out there on their layer where they had the industrial power plant and and you know building stuff and so they were just trapped but their tech uses glamours they can their tech has how would that interact with everything else and how would that interact with the various actions of traveling through the layers and persistence well, remembering what happens with Iron John is a situation where it's literally just a situation, a location, a being, and an object. And the whole process that starts this bad thing happening is they have a large industrial plant. And Iron John, who starts off just John, becomes the, you know, he's an up-and-comer young person well, person, an inorganic human, an android, and discovers they're good with their hands. And in the, the shop, gradually work their way up to become the entire floor manager. And then they are brought up in the middle management and they discover that they have an excellent view of that too. And they are promoted to be both a floor manager and the general shop manager, and it's not a hyper-capitalistic society. It is not done in a capitalistic situation. It's more commune-like. It's not necessarily just a plant. It's also like an outpost. People live there. You trade for things. And even though it's a plant, it's doing things for, you know, it's a franchise, but it's not the hyper-capitalistic stuff. Nothing's all, everything's just money. Not everything is just money. There's barter, there's trade, there's agreements, there's pacts. And that's the way their whole system works. And then, of course, because Iron John gets promoted and all that, the company is proud of him. The people are proud of him. The people that make the inorganic human beings are proud. Everyone is super proud of him, and they give him one of the KFAP Carato Ferris alloy polymer shells, which is everything but your neural hardware, as a gift. Now, these shells are just there made of a material that will last a good hundred thousand years under normal use without showing any real wear but and then they start to break down it takes like five six hundred thousand years under normal wear nobody lasts that long organics last like we live you know 120 years at the most and that's pretty rare the organic inorganics also break down that way because of the way that they are made their neural hardware breaks down and degrades over use. Only lasts about 120 years. Their neural systems inside of the shells, it is a form of neurogel, and from the systems in the head, as it runs through the various parts of the body, it becomes their own individualized nervous system that also breaks down over time. But they make some of these shells just to say, hey, you know, we're, we're showing this stuff off. And they give Iron John one. So he has his neural hardware reseated into the new shell. It takes a couple, you know, like two months for his new neural system to rebuild into the way his head is used to. And then he's up and running at normal speeds. This whole thing, the promotion, the shell, the location, and, well, Iron John, that collects this great amount of energy. And that creates a field as it is happening. Because you cannot actually change reality, you can only change how others, what is the word, how they interpret reality. As in, you know, the light is a certain form of electromagnetic radiation. You can't change that with anything that you do. But if you remove someone's eyes, or you make it so that it's dark, you can't see it. The electromagnetic radiation is still there. Your eyes just can't detect it something like that happens and they are unable to do so because they're cut off so thoroughly it cuts off both the magnetic layer polarity and the glamour so they are just absolutely 100 percent stuck at that point they become a drifting point of stability in undifferentiated space and of course, the organics only last about 40 years maximum because they're not soldiers, they're not hunters, they're not farmers, they're just plant workers. And life is dangerous. 
they have to go out hunting. There's no food there. It, it, you trade. You've got maybe a week's worth of food left up, so you got to go out and try to figure out what, what you can eat in a savanna. It's a savanna. There's not a lot of stuff you can just eat on the savanna. So you have to go out hunting. So in the first two years, a fair amount of the organic humans end up suffering from like injury and just being eaten. They're not soldiers, but you have to go out hunting. And then of course, over the remaining 40 years, well, age, and as you slow down from age, you can't stop something from eating you. And the inorganics, well, hey, they only last, you know, 100 years. So it's a good 120 years after they become abandoned. And Iron John is alone. And that is when he cuts, he puts himself into low power mode and waits. And that point of stability just drifts. Now it takes another couple tens of thousands of years for all that energy to finish coalescing inside of Iron John to turn him into the powerful being that he becomes. And it is his presence that allows that place to become stable. And of course, just to grind in the rusty dagger, Iron John had a girlfriend back in the main place and on one week he'd spend town there on business and spend the night at her apartment. On the next week they w she would come out and spend the night at her apartment. Everyone thought they were a cute couple. Finally after 10 years after he got promoted and had the new shell, well he was going to tie the knot and propose marriage and that of course is just before it happens. Uh, they get cut off and abandoned. And so the, the twisting of the rusty dagger is she dies not knowing what happens to him. And he wakes up 1.4 million years later after everything he knows has perished. And if opened up 24 hours worth of comments, my community tab going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. <laughs> Habit. However many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. It isn't many, but anything more than zero is awesome, so thank you much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended, even though I can't in American Sign Language, well, you've seen the way my memory works. No, it's never going to be perfect, but it is getting better. Toby. <laughs> T-O-B-I-W-O-N. K-O-N-G-Y, Toby Wan Kanogi. Thumbs up and thank you very much for the info. Marcel, greatly appreciated. Anya H, thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl 29, greatly appreciated and good to see you. Melody, well, I can understand. Sebastian Ferris, I meant to talk a whole lot about what I what you asked about and I didn't, so hopefully tomorrow. Thank you very much and good to see you. Granny Gema, thumbs up. Uh, ben B, always good to see you in the comments. And that is it. Eight people who left me comments in the past 24 hours. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people. It is appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And hey, with my hands in the air, don't know what device you're watching this on, but there is a video description. Show more. Inside of that, there are links to all of my channels as well as to my Patreon. And of course, again, I would like to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. These are literally beautiful, literally awesome people, and they are literally helping to keep me and my pets alive. I'm still sinking slowly underneath the waves of financial ruin. The cost of living is far outpacing my ability to pay for it, but these people are helping me to survive a little bit longer, and that is appreciated to no end. I have no ideas if I had my hand up in the air long enough, so hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad. If you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron, I do have links to a PayPal. And if you'd like to help me out without sending any money at all, I do have an Amazon wish list link with stuff like cat food on it, so thumbs up on that. And of course, don't feel obligated, I don't feel entitled, and if you can't or you don't donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation for my existence, and of course, if you can hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Thumbs up and thank you. I don't know what this position of my hands is supposed to mean. That's a new one on me, holding it up like this instead of like this. <sighs> So yeah, I gotta make phone calls and I gotta get stuff done and oh boy, it's executive dysfunction and needing a, a level of support that you don't have is no fun, but I'm still, I'm struggling. I am a survivor so far, so hopefully I'll keep up that way. And of course, with the Cafefe bug a raging, please, you know the precautions, take them. We are alive for such a short period of time and then we're dead forever. Don't check out early. 
be smart. Get your precautions done properly. Get your shots. Be smart. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And, well, quite frankly, I think that's a very good idea.